Hello everybody, I am Jedi Jack Penguin and welcome back to another LEGO Star Wars review. So today to celebrate the release of the new Disney Plus show Ahsoka, which I have not seen as of recording this, I will have seen it by the time I look at the newer version of the set, we're going to be looking at set number 7931. T6 Jedi Shuttle. This set includes 389 pieces, originally retailing for $59.99 when it released on January 1st of 2011. Now I'm pretty sure I got this for my birthday that same year, 2011, sometime around March at the Lego store. Since I don't have the box, we'll take a quick look at the instructions, which happen to mimic the box at the time period with that really amazing Captain Rex box art, which I really miss. I would love to see LEGO go back to just changing the box art on everything every year. It's just, I really miss it. From the backside, Win Kid, quick LEGO club, leading to an advertisement with some of the other sets for this first January wave, which I do have reviews out for a few of these. I am planning on making some more modern reviews. This is a set that I'm going to be reviewing very soon if it isn't out already. This is a set that I would really love to get someday. It's unfortunate that I never picked it up. And we have the other set that was made to go alongside this T6 Jedi Shuttle, the Bounty Hunter Assault gunship. Have to say it every time, LEGO's marketing team was just so much better back in the day. I really love seeing these types of pictures in the instructions and also how they did actually name all the characters from the back of the instructions and show all these features. You don't really see that in the back of many LEGO instructions these days, it's unfortunate. For our first minifigure, we have Anakin Skywalker, who you would have been able to get in six other sets. First released in 2008, you get the printing from the front of the torso for his outfit. And the classic Clone War style facial expression with those big animated eyes. Not too many people like those, but personally I grew up with it, so it's something I got used to. Always loved that hairpiece for Anakin as well. And you get a blue lightsaber for his accessory. You also get Jedi Master Obi-Wan Kenobi in this set, just like Anakin, same one released in 2008, coming in three other sets. Blue lightsaber for the accessory, printing from the front of the torso, and that Clone Wars style facial expression with the big eyes. For the very first time ever in LEGO form, we have Sese Tin, who you would have also been able to get within his Jedi Starfighter the next year in 2012. Get the printing from the front and back of the torso piece. Brand new mold for the back of his head as well as those horns there which attach to the regular headpiece. I'll remove it. So I can take a better look at that. It is not dual molded, it's just printed on. Really amazing piece that they also used in the Palpatine's Arrest set. But they changed the facial expression on that one and made it Revenge of the Sith instead of these giant eyes. Which again mimic that style of the Clone Wars which you would have seen during the time. And for his lightsaber, you get a green one. And no doubt the standout minifigure of this set is Shock T, who remains exclusive. We've never gotten her in any other sets. We get a brand new headdress piece, which we would later see return in Star Wars Rebels, I believe, for that version of Ahsoka. Or it might have remained exclusive this particular mold, though the printing for it is exclusive to Shock T. We also get a brand new facial expression, as well as a brand new torso print, which I'll remove the headdress piece, which unfortunately is fading. I really wish that this wasn't fading. That's just a problem that you'll get with older Lego pieces. There's a better look at the torso printing. And I'll just flip over the cape, just so then you can see no back printing. And you get that blue lightsaber for the accessory. For the time period, I feel this set is such a revolutionary build just because of the features that it includes. First things first, I did want to mention that when you do have this in the landing position, you have this little bit right here, which you're meant to bring out in order to make sure that this can stand nice and easily on a flat surface. If you do not put that piece out, you will notice that it's just going to fall down like such. So I do recommend moving that little bit if you're having trouble getting this to stand flat on a surface. Now on to that revolutionary technique. I definitely think it's one of the coolest parts of this set that you're able to turn this entire middle section. You can see like this whole like gear system that's working with the thing. And you can do it in a 360 direction. So it doesn't matter which way you turn it, which I appreciate. 
Really interested to see how this feature works on the newer version releasing this year in 2023. I will do a quick comparison sequence within my review for that set. I also have to point out a lot of the sticker details, which you'll see on the wings, including this Republic logo, which is really cool. I love that. Get the same stickers from this side and that red and white color scheme, which is something you don't really see a lot of in Lego Star Wars, which I really love seeing the reds on this build. Here's a look at the back of it, which is a little ugly, but um, it is what it is. It gets the point across. And of course, when you're displaying this, you'll be displaying it like such or from the side like this, which I honestly think looks even better there. From the back side of the build, I really love a lot of the slope pieces being used. Especially these right here. These are really cool to get those white ones. And of course, as with any Lego Star Wars set, we have some flick fire missiles, which you don't actually have to flick. You just got to press from the very back side over here and you can shoot them out one by one and easily just reload them within the Technic pinhole. Just giving you that better look at the engines. I really like how those look, especially using these pieces back here and all the different Technic features to help connect them. And that brings us to the very last section, and that is the cockpit or the escape pod of this vehicle. Yeah, Lego says that this is a, an escape pod. I'm not exactly sure how accurate that is to the source material, but you can completely detach this from the entire thing, which I guess is nice as like an escape pod. I'm going to put it right back and we're going to take a look at the cockpit, which is really cool. This is a brand new print for this set remains exclusive so amazing that they printed this lego really skimps out on doing that in a lot of sets these days so it's really great to see that they did make something special here and you get the stud connection from the back as well as from the front right here and your cockpit is fairly small you can fit at least two minifigures in there and you also get a printed one by two little dashboard thingy just to prove my point that two figures fit in there there you go, and you can put the cockpit right back on, and you can see them slightly through that piece, which is using the translucent black instead of the regular old translucent there, which I think works to great effect and helps when it comes to just printing this part, which, you know, printing a lighter color on a darker surface may be problematic, but here, here I think it works. So overall for $60 back in the day, you got two brand new Jedi minifigures, two returning Jedi minifigures, and a build which is unique and different compared to a lot of other LEGO Star Wars builds for the time. I do really love when LEGO steps out of their comfort zone of light gray, dark gray, black, and adds a pop of color here. That red really helps and makes this a really interesting vehicle build, and especially getting white mixing with the red is a really great color combination. As far as the features go for this set, it's really revolutionary for the time. I'm excited to see how it works on the new 2023 version of the T6 Jedi Shuttle. I will be doing a quick comparison in my review for that set, so look forward to that sometime in September, unless I find it early. So yeah, that's all that I have to say for this video. Leave your thoughts down in the comment section below what your thoughts are on this set. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that bell icon so you don't upload a new video. So yeah, that's it for now and I will see you next time. Bye!